Well, Boots, welcome to the team. We're delighted to have you as our latest addition to the stable. Just how excited are you to announce your new promotional deal with us today? Uh, thank you guys for having me. You know, I'm excited, very excited. I can't wait to, you know, continue to put on, uh, you know, beautiful performances for you guys. And I can't wait. Uh, let's do it. I want you to go back to over six months ago now when Eddie first expressed his interest in signing you. He finally got his man, he put pen to paper on a multi-fight deal with us. Why was it Eddie and Matchroom and why was that the right promotional deal for you? Uh, I just feel like this was the, you know, the best move you know, for my career uh, this far. You know? And you know, I, like I said, I can't wait to see you know, what's, what's, what's in store. How long have talks been going on between yourself and Eddie? I think it's been going on for sort of a long time now, hasn't it? Uh, maybe a couple months, you know, just trying to figure out the right plan, you know, and, and the right things and, and uh, putting the right things behind me and stuff like that. Uh, I, guess, I guess it's fair to say at this stage of your career, you know, you had a lot of people scrambling to sign you as well. That's, what was that like, kind of fielding a lot of offers? I mean, when everybody coming, you know, you just got to make the right decision, you know, the, the best decision for you. And, and I feel like, like I said before, I feel like this is the best decision, you know, uh, for my career this far. Whilst it was going to be, you know, you're going to be boxing live on DAZN, Eddie's made it public with several of his fighters that, you know, we're willing to work with anyone should it make business sense. How important was that factor in the deal for you? Uh, that was very important because, uh, like I always say, you know, I, I want to fight the best guys, you know, the top guys, and that's my goal, you know. I want to stay active and, and, and fight the uh, top guys, the best guys. And I guess another appeal of fighting on the zone is, you know, we're worldwide, you can fight anywhere in the world. Is that something that appealed to you as well, the sort of global, global scale of things? Uh, most definitely. With me, I don't, I don't care where the fight is. The fight could be in, in, uh, in my opponent's backyard, in the living room, it don't matter where it's at. As long as I'm fighting and uh, able to put on a show, for the fans and, and you guys, you know, that's all that matters. I know there's issues we, we sort of can't touch upon in this interview, but in terms of your own activity, you know, it's been a year since you, since you boxed. Is that important now to sort of keep that activity up? Uh, yes, that's, um, that's important. Uh, that's the most important key. You know, staying active is important. And me being off, you know, for this time, it's not going to affect me at all. You know, I, I can't wait to get back in the ring. You know, I'll be better than ever. Have you got a roadmap with Eddie for that sort of activity? How many times would you want to see yourself boxing, you know, this year and next year? As much as possible <laughs> with me, I just, you know, want to stay, stay busy, you know, stay active. I know you put on social media recently, you know, someone's going to pay. Is that, is that a sense of frustration almost that you've been out of the ring so long and yet you want to get your sort of amp to get it back in the ring? Yeah, most definitely. I just want to get myself back in the ring, you know, and like I said, somebody, somebody going to pay no matter who it is. Can you give us any developments on with regards to who you might fight next? I know Cody Crawley was a mandatory challenger and a purse people was previously called for that fight. Um, my next opponent, I, I'm not too sure. That was the only opponent that, that, that was uh, on the line, you know, because he was supposed to be my mandatory and things like that. So uh, if it's him, it's him. Uh, I don't care who it is. Uh, I just want to get back in the ring, get back active. And like I said, uh, continue keeping on shows and, and making my mark in this boxing game. Eddie's always talked about how important it is for our fighters to have that homecoming fight, those big fights in their hometown. It's been over five years since you fought in Philly. Is that something you want next? How important would that be to kind of have such a big homecoming after all those years. Uh, fighting, fighting at home is everything to me, you know. Uh, that's where I started, you know. That's where I'm from, that's where I started, you know. And, and it's kind of like me giving back to the fans, you know. They, they've been waiting this long, you know. Uh, and I, I just can't wait, you know. It's, it's, a definitely, it's definitely important to fight back at home. It's a, it's a big thing, a big deal with me. Why is that such a big deal for you? I know a lot of fans, you know, have been sticking with you for such a long time and having that opportunity now to give back to them. Why is it so important to you, do you think, to have that fight in Philly? Uh, it's very important to have a fight in Philly because they never had a big fight here in, in I don't know how long, you know, it's since back in the day. So and I feel like me being the first big fight here is going to be, you know, wonderful. And, and I think that's what the city needs and I think that's going to bring back, you know, uh, that, that, that Philly, you know, grit and talent and er that everything was Philly missing. You were upgraded from interim RBF champ to full champ back in November. Has anything changed for you off the back of that? Um, not, nothing changed, you know, just, I'm still the same person, same, you know, I'm just the same guy. Terence Crawford is a name that you've publicly reached out to. Do you think he wants the fight? Uh, I'm not sure if, he, if Terence Crawford wants the fight or not. You know, he, he went out publicly a few, few times saying that he's not looking my direction, he's not looking my way. I'm not, I'm not a, a big enough name, I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not that. But there's nobody else left for him to fight. You, either you fight me or you, you fight nobody. So uh, I don't know. I, I <laughs> if it's not Terence, you must have a hit list. Can you name some guys that are on that? I don't have a hit list. I just don't want to fight. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Terence, uh, Spence, uh, 
anybody in 154, anybody in 47, I just want to fight. Uh, I don't care who it is. One name you didn't mention there, our UK stable includes Conor Ben. I know he teased something on his Instagram the other day about you know Ben versus Ennis. Is that a fight that you would potentially entertain? Yeah, I, I fight anybody. I don't care who it is. I just want to ask as well, in terms of this being the next chapter of your career, I know it's a big move moving promoters now, but if there's one thing you're most excited about in terms of this new chapter and the things that unlocks, what would, the, what would that be? Uh, what I'm excited about is, you know, collecting all the belts, you know, uh, getting, getting the, the, the rest of the belts, the WBC, the WBA and the WBO, and become undisputed. That's what I'm excited about. And in terms of a message you want to give to the fans who've been kind of patiently waiting for that next move, they've been a year now. <laughs> What's the message to those guys? Uh, I'm sorry for the wait, but the wait is going to be worth it. Stay tuned. <laughs>